about the fact that you um, you know that 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 you were fat yeah. okay uh, I was fat was big i was not as skinny as like girls like to be okay like you are today <laughs> yes okay <laughs> what i want to know is how you got rid of it uh, the weight and how you stay like this because a lot of people are constantly fighting the weight the weight yes. battle isn't it well i'm not blessed like the rest of the film industry i have to work very hard to be thin that's nice to hear i'm, I'm sure, uh, sure a lot of people will be happy to hear that um people don't understand that that it's a lot of work that goes into looking good mm. um there's a lot of i mean what you see on screen or in a magazine is not actually how people look i mean mm. i have makeup on i have a hair done mm. i have a fitness trainer i have a makeup artist i have a stylist i have a hairdresser i have photoshop and uh, mm. bi and all of those mm. sfx and all to fix up all mm. my flaws mm. and i work pretty damn hard to mm. be thin um i eat really really healthy mm. um i cheat once in a while i'm young mm. enough to cheat and get away with it mm. um i know eventually my mom keeps on telling me that you hit the 30s mm. <laughs> the mm. metabolism just slows yeah. down after that yeah. um but i exercise i work out um i do yoga i dance mm. um i try to eat as many vegetables mm. and fruits and brown rice and brown bread and it's hard, hard work. it's hard it's a lot of hard work and it took me a i i felt sick mm. when i was overweight and mm. that's that because i love food mm. and that's what pushed me into losing weight because sanjay mansali never wanted me to lose weight mm. he thought i looked like a janta painting <laughs> so he said mm. you don't need to lose weight mm. um but i had to because i found out that i was borderline diabetic mm. and if i didn't lose weight my doctor said i'd be like shooting insulin up mm. by the time i was 30 so mm. he said you have to lose weight and you need to take care of yourself otherwise you'll mm. fall very sick and most probably go blind mm. so i said yeah i i think it's uh, so the, this is the hard way literally the hard, hard way, way you yeah, had to yeah, get on to yeah. this i wish there was like a, a time machine which you just go in and go come back <laughs> looking really hot and sexy mm. and maybe like just sell mm. but i don't think that happens never happens no, no i don't think it happens no, for anyone no. they, whatever it is they do their thing to yeah, to yeah but stay i had to shape. work very hard but you're happy with the results i am happy with the results not because of anything it's just i have 500 times more energy mm. um i love clothes mm. so they look nicer mm. um and um it's easier for me to dance because i'm a classical dancer and um you don't um, when you're a little heavier it's mm. tougher to dance mm. i think that was my main thing that mm. i wanted i don't want it to be lighter on my feet if you look at what the hindi film industry is looking for when it comes to someone like you which is bright young talent mm. beautiful young woman what are they looking for you to deliver are they looking for you to deliver great acting moments or are they looking for you to deliver a commercial hit in conjunction with some hero and a f- filmmaker and producer well i they've been very kind to me actually since i've been mm. in this industry mm. um despite my films not doing so very well mm-hmm. um i've got a lot of uh, credit for how i've done in those films mm. and um as i say as a well i hope it doesn't sound immodest mm. but the only way you get i mean I've still been accepted in this industry and I've been looked at as mm. a, more as an actor mm. than as a commodity mm. you know but at the same time I've got endorsements mm. which say that I have selling power mm. in this industry mm. so I have got the four most prestigious endorsements that mm. you could get mm. and I think that says a lot as mm. well that the industry is not as um superficial or mm. as they they recognize um they recognize something and they the kind of they they want me here hmm. hopefully i hope so so you're not feeling the pressure to go out there and deliver a big I, massive hit i would i would love hmm. that i mean i want people to like my film hmm. whether whatever i want them to like it and hmm. by by being a hit that means that they've liked it and people hmm. want to go watch it and people want to see it and you make movies and you 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 perform and you perform it for an audience mm. and you want the audience to see it so of course i want my film to be a mm. hit and of course i want it to do well mm. so that more movies like the ones i do can get made is it a pressure to therefore uh, do a certain kind of work or there's no pressure no, no, at all no, no, no. you you're you're absolutely able to do only what you want yeah, to do yeah i just do what i want to do because at the end of the day i have to wake up at like 5 in the morning get my makeup done and like mm. perform that scene you know what mm. i mean mm. I, i nobody else is going to do it for me and mm. i cannot do something I, i can't sell my soul mm. i just can't it's just 
not happening. Do you and your dad ever compare notes on the way the film industry is and uh, do you, do you, how much do you think it is different let's say from the time he was working as a young man as co and compared to now? My dad is got blinders on. He never looked at anybody around him. He just continued working so he never knows the state of the film industry honestly speaking. <laughs> so he would be the wrong person to ask. How is it 20 years old? Same beta. It's not changed at all. <laughs> I think that's why he's lasted so long because he's not concerned with who's doing well or who's not doing well, who's bad, who's good. He just wants to act. Mm. He just wants to make movies. For him, it does not matter. Mm. He's more concerned about what's in the news with the rest of the world is concerned. You know, if you ask mm. him anything that's happening in this day and age, he'll have mm. a full conversation with you. But if you ask him what's happening in the film industry, he has no idea. Mm. I said, what is the point of being in this industry when you don't know who's, who's mm. dating who mm. or who mm. is up and who is down? Mm. He has no idea. Mm -hmm. I think um, I think he cuts off after he mm -hmm. finishes, finishes his job. I don't think he feels it's relevant mm -hmm. because he looks at him himself as an artist more than anything else. That's why he doesn't do endorsements and mm -hmm. all of those things. And he's totally, totally excited after the Slumdog. It must have come at a very interesting turn in his career, isn't yeah. it? That movie and wh where it's taken him. Yes. Um, um, he, like, I mean, people knew him all over India now mm -hmm. and now if even if I'm in Canada, for God's sake, people mm. like stop him and ask him for autographs everywhere. Mm. You know, it's ridiculous. You can't go anywhere with him anymore now. We used to have like holiday destinations where we could go with him. Without but being bothered. bothered. Now yeah. he can't go anywhere. Mm. Now he's a world phenomenon mm. and it's special, I think. I think you're proud of him. I'm very proud of him, yeah. What's your favorite film where he's concerned? Mr. India, because I was the kid and I like that movie. It's just yeah. fun for me mm. as a... I like Mr. India. Um, I like um, My Wife's Murder, mm. Slumdog, Millionaire, mm. Pukar. Um, Not Wo Sad Din. Wo Sad Din. I love Wo Sad mm. Din. I especially love the fact mm. when he starts uh, starts singing all the abusive mm. words. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Nam, you're in a good space? Yes, I'm in a very good space. Where do you go from here? I don't know. I take each day as it comes. I can't look into the future too much. It's really boring. Yeah, no, you yeah. don't need to. I wouldn't want to look into the future either if I was Sonam Kapoor. All the best. Thank you so much. Nice talking to you. Nice talking to you. Thank you.